For almost 60 years, AMF Bruns has been the leading European manufacturer of wheelchair lifts, lowering suspensions, ramps, steps, and finally wheelchair and occupant restraint systems. The first retractor four-point system for wheelchairs and occupants was manufactured in the 1970s. By inventing a wheelchair retractor to tighten a wheelchair, AMF Bruns opened a new dimension in safety. It took others 20 years to follow the AMF Bruns idea. Meanwhile, the protector system sets the standard worldwide. Wheelchair users have never been as mobile as they are today. Worldwide, millions of wheelchair drivers access cars. But what happens in the event of an accident? How do you protect a wheelchair and its occupant to ensure ultimate safety? The answer is protector. For ultimate safety on the road, the following points need to be considered. Start by slowly reading and understanding the AMF Bruns Protector User Manual. Always start by inspecting the components of the system to ensure it is complete and working. You should have four retractors for each wheelchair position in your vehicle. Two for the front anchorage, two for the rear anchorage, plus one pelvis belt and one shoulder belt installed in the vehicle. All of the loose components should be stored in the appropriate crash-tested storage box. The wheelchair needs to be positioned between the tie-down points on the vehicle floor facing forward. Here we're using the example of longitudinal rails. Note that the tie-down position on the wheelchair needs to be at the height of the seat. Only fix the belts on the stable frame of the wheelchair. The retractors need to be tightened firmly. A loose belt reduces the safety features dramatically. In the event of an accident, so-called slackness develops in the webbing, a relative velocity between the wheelchair and the vehicle. The bounce develops sudden forces which may burst the wheelchair. The front and rear position of the tie-down should be as far apart as possible in order to make sure that the wheelchair cannot tip over. The ideal width to tie down the front restraints is the width of the wheelchair frame plus 5 to 10 degrees on each side. Never tie crossing belts down as the wheelchair may be pulled together. For the effective use of the occupant restraint system, some guidance needs to be taken into consideration before driving off. Ensure that the pelvis belt is not passed through the wheels or the armrests. The pelvis belt needs to run between the armrest and the backrest. Wear the pelvis belt as low as possible across the pelvis. It is also important to avoid slackness in the webbing of the pelvis belt. The pelvis belt needs to be positioned tight to the body. The correct position avoids the submarining effect where the occupant slides underneath the pelvis belt. The shoulder belt needs to be tightened well and you come across the shoulder right in the center. In the event of an accident, this is the only way you can avoid a jackknife effect, which leads to serious injuries. Here are the most important points summarized again. Place the wheelchair right in the middle between the tie-down points. We're using the example of longitudinal rails here and also using tracks fitted across the vehicle. The height of the tie-down, if possible, is the height of the seat. Attach belts to the fixed parts of the wheelchair only. Front anchoring. The width of the tie-down is the width of the wheelchair frame plus 25 degrees on each side. Never cross the belts. Rear anchoring. The width of the tie-down is the width of the wheelchair frame plus 5 to 10 degrees on each side. Belts should not tangent wheels. Never cross the belts. The attachment points at the front and back should be well apart. The angle of the tie-down is approximately 45 degrees, especially at the back. Tighten the tie-down firmly in order to avoid webbing slackness. 
The pelvis belt needs to cross the pelvis as low as possible. The pelvis belt should have the maximum angle to the horizontal as possible. The pelvis belt needs to run between the armrest and backrest. The pelvis belt needs to be tightened well in order to avoid the submarining effect. The shoulder belt should cross the shoulder right in the center. No other system offers such a variation of tie-down for the wheelchair and occupants as the AMF Bruns Protector System. The mono fitting is the perfect solution for individual transportation. It's very discreet and easy to use. The four stud fitting is standard and can be used flexibly with the appropriate floor rails. There are various options of fixing to the vehicle floor. There are different methods of attachment to the wheelchair. Loops are a very safe way to fix the wheelchair as they stay on the frame even in case of deformation. The hook is a simple and especially quick alternative. Fitting with a carabiner is quick and safe because of the snap lock. The protector system is flexible providing ultimate safety for you and other passengers in the vehicle. For heavy wheelchairs, AMF Bruns recommends the use of so-called heavy-duty retractors for applications up to 160 kilograms. The protector system has been tested successfully worldwide. In all tests, the results exceed the required safety standards. Even for electric wheelchairs, the protector system is safer than any other known system. During a run of crash tests and practical driving tests for wheelchairs and their occupants, the protector system from AMF Bruns passed. ProSafe is a defined connection to the wheelchair. With ProSafe, the tie-down points to the wheelchair and the belts for the occupants are fixed. ProSafe is the consequence of developing the protector system and can be combined with all standard protector systems from AMF Bruns. With only four clicks, the wheelchair is fixed easily, quickly and without problems. It's impossible to use incorrectly. The pelvis belt belongs to the adapter and can be injected anatomically correctly. The pelvis belt geometry avoids submarining and is automatically in the correct position. The shoulder belt is connected to the pelvis belt and easy to access. The jackknife effect is avoided. The Future Safe Head and Backrest is a patented safety system that ensures maximum safety for the occupant. The headrest and backrest can be separately swiveled through 180 degrees. The upholstery is height adjustable and can be individually adjusted to suit the wheelchair user. Future Safe has an integrated shoulder belt which secures the person in the wheelchair. Like everybody in a vehicle, wheelchair users should be optimally protected by a head and backrest from the consequences of an accident, as this crash test shows. It's your responsibility and the AMF Bruns Protector System to ensure ultimate safety.